Let's talk about the basic operation of the PRISM 2 rebreather. Right here you have the PRISM 2, and we're going to look at from the point where a diver exhales his gas into the rebreather until the time a clean gas comes back in for re -inhalation. So the first thing we're going to do is the diver is going to exhale into the dive surface valve. The dive surface valve opens or closes the breathing loop. The exhale gas will travel into the exhale counter lung, where oxygen can be manually added into the rebreather. There also is an overpressure valve here. If the diver finds that the gases are building up too much, they can allow some of the gas to escape through here. Once the gas with the enriched oxygen travels up into the head of the unit, it travels into the scrubber. The scrubber is filled with soda lime, which has an affinity for carbon dioxide, but allows all of the other gases to pass through untouched. So the scrubber will take all the carbon dioxide and turn it into a solid, and then pass through the oxygen and nitrogen. The head then, up here, analyzes the gases and determines if there's enough oxygen in the loop or if it needs to add more oxygen. If it decides to add more oxygen, an automated solenoid will add oxygen into the breathing loop right here. From there, it goes into back into one of the counter lungs, into the inhalation counter lung, travels up here, goes to the inhalation counter lung, where diluting gas can be added to the diver if, there, if they feel that there's too much oxygen in the loop. From there, it goes back into the mouth as clean gas with the right oxygen content. We also have what we call a bailout valve. The bailout valve, and you probably recognize this if you're an open circuit diver, is a simple open circuit system added into the loop. In the unlikely event that you wanted to bail off the system and just breathe gas just as you would in an open circuit system, all you need to do is flip down the lever and it switches from breathing on the loop to breathing from an open circuit scuba tank. So, how do we know what the oxygen content of the breathing loop is at any point in time during the dive? This is where the handset comes in. This shows the diver all three cells and tells you what the oxygen content is in the loop during the dive. Also, should this handset fail for any reason, we have a backup heads-up display, also known as the HUD. This shows us, in terms of blinking lights, that have to be decoded by the diver what the oxygen content of the breathing loop is. So that's the basic operation of the Hollis Prism 2 rebreather. If you have more specific questions, please contact your local Hollis rebreather dealer or contact Hollis rebreathers directly.